the, the jam thing irritates me, though, because the jam thing is that we've been told there's an opportunity for Brit Britons to sell jam to Europe. Yes. Well, that's mm -hmm. a big opportunity, right? And all the Twitter comments were <laughs> trying to sell jam to the French, all the French provider was that. It's, but they do, but we make really good jam. Mm. We make really, <laughs> really good jam. <laughs> Stop thing, doing whereby, down the country. Yeah, no, whereby everything that comes from France is more sophisticated. Their jam just comes from a big jam factory near Marseille. I mean, when I was a, when I was a kid, we all thought ski yogurt was incredibly sophisticated. It was made in Swansea. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 when you started that, I thought, where's it going with this? And it's just like, oh, he just loves jam. <laughs> Jam is really complicated. I mean, it's not good for because you go to Waitrose. Jesus Christ! You just want a jar of raspberry jam. Can you find it? You can find framboise. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's food. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, very similar topics. <laughs> the um, I once went to a buffet in Reading, and that's not even the joke. <laughs> It was organised by a woman called Wendy, and uh, it was so beige, it was so bland, it was like a buffet representation of Reading. <laughs> I, I, looked, I looked across this buffet, right, they put out sausage rolls, right, sausage rolls, right, where they just whipped off the cellophane and put the corrugated plastic straight down on the table. <laughs> <laughs> like we were dogs! <laughs> <laughs> then we had scotch eggs, right? Scotch eggs cut into quarters. Apparently, no one can eat a whole one. <laughs> then, <laughs> then we had breadsticks displayed in a pint glass. <laughs> I thought I was at a fucking UKIP rally. <laughs> She starts putting down cold pizza slices next to wontons. No one's mixed Italian and Chinese cuisine like that since Marco Polo. Then, <laughs> then she brought out the quadrant of dips. You know, the four dips. <laughs> the four dips of the apocalypse. <laughs> the white one. The other white one. <laughs> Then there's a green one, what's that? Guacamole. Then there's a pink one, what's that made of? Sillet bang? Nobody <laughs> knows. I was just glad to have something made of some sort of colour. Anyway, it was a terrible buffet, but thank you very much, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> Who made, who made a typically colourful speech at the conference? Can I just ask one question? Oh, my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Why isn't there... Why isn't there orange jam? <laughs> Marmalade is... No, that's not jam. That's got bits in. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to move on as well. Oh, uh... <laughs> and I'll give you the clue. The answer is Boris Johnson. <laughs> Who? It was Boris Johnson. Shut up. Don't I have to ask the question first. Let's stick to the conventions of normal language. <laughs> Who made a typically colourful speech at the conference? Was it Hugh about jam? <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> the topic is drinking. Now, according to police, right, apparently in nightclubs, one in 20 drinks are spiked. Now, I was thinking this could give you a little excuse not to go into work the next day. Phone up work, I can't come in, my drink was spiked. How do you know? Well, I had 20 of them. <laughs> One of them must have been. <laughs> of course, if you go and see your doctor now, they give you a little test, don't they? My doctor, he said to me the other day, he said, how many units of alcohol have you had this week? I said, 21. He said, that's not bad. The maximum's 28. I was thinking it was bloody lucky I saw him on the Monday. <laughs> OK, let's see what we've got left for Frankie. Let's spin the wheel again. Uh. And it's drinking. <laughs> As a teetotal alcoholic, that should be quite good. <laughs> I drink energy drinks now. 
It's good that they finally managed to can anxiety. <laughs> It's good that there's a drink that gives me the resting heart rate of a serial killer <laughs> who's just spotted that there's a sale on at B&Q. <laughs> I hate this thing where Guinness always go, oh, we're the national drink of Ireland. Yeah, you're the national drink of a nation of alcoholics. <laughs> That's like saying that you're Gary Glitter's favourite search engine. <laughs> I'm teetotal, right? A concept which Scottish people don't understand. So I did a gig in Fife, and I was on stage, and this guy was going up to the bar, and he went, hey, I'll get you a drink as well. And I went, well, I, I used to be an alcoholic, so I don't drink anymore, but thanks anyway. And he looked at me for a bit, and then he went, a pint of lager shandy? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, boy. Now, the topic is food. Oh, here you go. Now, this is one of my favourite topics, because I absolutely hate restaurants. And my wife loves restaurants. She's middle class. She, she's been skiing and everything. <laughs> and she loves a restaurant. She says, can we go to a restaurant at the weekend? And I say, yes, we can. And we're there. We're barely there two minutes. And she's like, isn't it a lovely ambiance? <laughs> and I say to her, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I've worked out what an ambiance is. It's a night out without poor people, isn't it, basically? <laughs> People with a few quid to say, can we just have one night out about the poor people turning up? <laughs> you know what they're like, they'll be banging spoons together, singing Mile Man's a Dustman, <laughs> creating an atmosphere. We want an ambiance. <laughs> so we try and enjoy the ambiance. <laughs> but something's happened spoiling it for me. There's no tomato sauce on the table. <laughs> creating the situation when my wife looked at me, she said, you're going to ask for tomato sauce, aren't you? <laughs> I said, yes, I am. Because I'm going to have the risotto. <laughs> you can't eat risotto without red sauce, it's too dry. It's health and safety issue. You've got to juice it up with a bit of red sauce. Right? <laughs> so I thought, I'm not having it. I said to the waitress, excuse me, do you have any ketchup in the building? She's looked at me like I'm the worst pleb God has ever put breath in. <laughs> she went off to the kitchen and I saw her making her way back with a pot about that big, about two chipfuls of tomato sauce. <laughs> I thought, oh, here we go. She's tried to put it down and walk away like she's doing a drug deal or something. You know? <laughs> and I stopped. I said, hold on, love, 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 don't rush off. And I took a sip of it. <laughs> and I looked at it. I said, yes, I'll have a bottle, please. Things you wouldn't hear on a TV cookery show. Hi, I'm Nigella Lawson. And before I bake any cake, I like to chop my flour into lines. <laughs> you can see that's rising nicely. It does that every time I think about how much money Channel 4 are going to pay me. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Can't Cook, Won't Cook. Today we won't be making anything. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Coming up next on Saturday Kitchen, whatever we want, because we know you're too hungover to change the channel. <laughs> this is a hot pot. This is a fucking hot pot! <laughs> so, if you want to bone a chicken, what you need to do, take it on a couple of dates and then... <laughs> Invite it back, put on some romantic music and let nature take its course. <laughs> there, is, uh, there is a bit of a problem on this week's food and drink. I've, I've finished all of it. <laughs> this is a uh, Thai chicken curry, or as I like to call it, hot Asian cock. <laughs> OK, Sam, let's see what you've brought in your bag of ingredients. It is a pint of wine and a large Malteser. <laughs> right, welcome to Southern Cooking for Northerners. First up, quinoa. What is it and why it can fuck off? <laughs> Well, if you're going to pop it in, don't forget to cover it first. I didn't, and that's why I'm making paternity payments. <laughs> Hello, I'm 
Greg Wallace, and this series of MasterChef, we won't be using plates. We'll just be eating off my shiny, shiny head. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's Nigella Lawson here again. I'm just going to say the word spatchcock for no reason. <laughs> spatchcock. <laughs> Anyone can make this. You can't, Beatrice. Sorry, you can't beat rice. Let's just go home. Let's just go home. Welcome. Welcome to Great Indian Bake Off. I'm Paul Bollywood. <laughs> I'm Jamie Oliver. Welcome to my new show, Stick a Bit of Fucking Sugar in It. <laughs> in other news, what can happen to drunk air passengers in the future? They might sober up. Yeah. <laughs> They're complaining drunks are getting on planes. They make you wait for two hours in a pub. <laughs> That's just a brilliant pub that happens to have good transport links. <laughs> Oh, it's true. It is true, though, isn't it? It's the only time you see people sort of three o'clock in the morning in an airport pub just going, oh, I'll have a bacon sandwich and four pints of Stella. That seems to make sense, doesn't it? <laughs> We're here. As soon as you take away windows, all responsibility goes, doesn't it? <laughs> it can be any time I want it to be. Totally agree. I saw a guy, this was out of order, 7 a.m., having a wagamama's. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> You're right, you're right. Who is... What is going wrong in your life? There's a guy <laughs> drinking Guinness, looking across, going, he's got problems. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a problem got... on planes, though, is it? It's not a problem in airports, is it? And it's only a problem on planes if you well, get it's... so drunk that you go, right, you, outside, now. <laughs> <laughs> is that... But they, they always say that people get drunk and try to open the, you know, the doors. Presumably you can't actually open those doors. I don't think somebody can just run... Pfft, I, the doors, obviously, are, they can be opened, otherwise we'd all still be on the last plane we got onto. <laughs> <laughs> you can't act, Yeah, but you can't in a kind of a, hello, you're a very pretty... Uh, who says, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that big roundy bun doesn't go... Pfft, 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 Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>